great announcement for those who appreciate beautiful looking china and it's about my coffee cups my espresso cups they just arrived the boxes just arrived the coffee cups were here about a month ago but we wanted to make sure these are nicely packaged they come in beautiful silk lined bags with ribbon let me show you these are bone china very fine very delicate okay so these are the cups we have single set i call them lonely set <laughs> for lonely people sometimes you feel very lonely when you drink your coffee just by yourself because us armenians usually gather around coffee chat talk about neighbors about everything so it's actually very um <laughs> very group thing and we also have couple set a set that comes for not very lonely people so this is about my cups and I know uh, I shared the tutorial how to make Armenian coffee probably three years ago that was one of my first videos I want to make sure everyone knows how to make the best Armenian style coffee. I'm not saying Armenian coffee because we don't grow coffee in Armenia. Uh, they grow it in Colombia and we happily get it from Colombia. How to make the best kind of Armenian coffee using the Hi. best Armenian coffee. Hi. Hi. It's okay. <laughs> Come my Armenian daughter, she doesn't make good Armenian coffee. So I don't, really. I'm really bad at it. And she makes it bad so we don't ask her to make coffee. No, that's Lucy, okay? I yeah. try. You try? Yeah, Lucy. So that was Lucy. Anyway, speaking of good coffee, this is the kind you want to get uh, from Henry's House of Coffee. See, they even say Armenian coffee for those who don't know what kind of coffee this is and they put Armenian letters, alphabet letters on the box. So I'll make coffee, I'll show you how to make it. So simple, easy, and hopefully, when you wanna get this coffee, you'll see the link down below this video. Use coupon code Herine, which is my name. Many of you were asking how to pronounce it. Herine, uh, to get 10% discount. And then, you can also get the cups, of course, from my blog. I'll put the link down below this video. Let's finally make that coffee. Oh, long intro. Okay, you need only two ingredients or the optional third ingredient will be sugar. If you like it spicy, I was gonna say, if you like it sweet. And to one cup of let me show you very, very smoothly. You need water, regular tap water, filtered water, doesn't make any difference. It's gonna boil and nothing will happen. So I'm making two cups of coffee and to be honest, I never measure my water. I'm eyeballing, it always works. And you make something like forever in your life, <laughs> you can eyeball it. So. I'm making two cups, so I'm adding two cups according to your cup size. You add the water, turn the heat or the gas on, and to each one cup of uh, water, you add, uh, let me show you these baby spoons. These are our coffee spoons, okay? We don't use them to feed our babies. <laughs> okay, to each one cup, you use one teaspoon with a hip coffee. So I have two cups, I'll use two cup, two teaspoons with a hip. Some people make it with less coffee. Um, it tastes like water. Don't do that. If you want to make real Armenian thick coffee, and it's not even strong. Yeah. Really. No? <laughs> yeah, go to Jerry's house. Okay. Bye. Bye. And you also want to make sure you close your coffee uh, either jar or coffee bag to keep it fresh and nice and fresh and what you do you simply wait you don't have to stir you don't have to do anything it will dissolve and start cooking and let's wait until the most important moment 
Yes, in general, don't make too much noises. We're filming an advertisement and coffee tutorial for my channel. These are from our garden. They didn't grow big this year, so I decided to simply cut them and use as a decoration. There is two on this one. And always keep an eye on your coffee. It may boil and you don't want it. As soon as it starts to kind of, um, it starts to boiling, you need to keep an eye. It may run away very easily and give you extra job to clean your gas stove or electric, electric stove top. Oh, Emma. It's okay to hold your baby while you're making coffee, especially when he's quiet, which is very unusual. See, I'm not doing anything. I'm not stirring. Not concentrating on anything. We're getting very close. As soon as it starts to kind of boil, don't overboil it. It starts to come up, you take it off the heat. Some people really boil it. It doesn't taste good. And I like mine with that fruff. How you call this thing on the coffee? Fruff? Anyways, that's not important. In Armenian, we call it ser, which also means love. So you want to make sure your coffee includes the love. Love on top. Okay, if you like with sugar, you will add the sugar along with the coffee. And you don't have to mix. This is how you mix your coffee. No spoon. That's it, very easy. And again, you like to get the coffee or get my coffee cups. I'll, link, I'll leave the links down below this video. I am not very good at advertising, but I think I'm very good at sharing things very, um, very naturally. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, if you're having a coffee without sugar, it's a good option to have a chocolate or some kind of sweet alongside, which if you want to take a look, my plates are designed, they have space, extra space, so you can put your candy or a piece of cookie by coffee side. Ooh, that's it! I'll take a sip. I like mine very hot. Mm, this is the coffee. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you for everything and thank you for being my friends and followers for three years already. I appreciate each and every one of you very, very much. That's it. Thank you, boy. Mm. Let's go have coffee.